Hi lovelies! It's actually hailing right now outside, so hopefully you can't hear that. So a lot of people have asked me, are you deaf? Are you hard of hearing? No word. I understand. My voice is very precise because I can't hear myself. I don't know whether I'm slurring or not. Hopefully I'm not slurring. So I spend a lot of time trying to make sure that I pronounce things properly. I actually don't know the difference between deaf and hard of hearing. When I was a baby, I couldn't really hear very well. I had a lot of problems when I was little. And then I had a kind of operation on my ears. And my mother remembers reading to me as we were sat in the waiting room. And she's reading Winnie the Pooh. Good book. Good book. And she has to really yell so I'll know what's going on. <laughs> Actually hurt my own voice then. Then later on, come out of the operation and she can read to me like a normal person without needing to scream. But I had two or maybe three operations. That meant that for maybe for 10 years, I think, I could hear pretty well. It's not perfect, but it was really good. I have uh, memorized the entire Spice Girls back catalogue. Yeah, yeah, I can do the moves. So that was fine. A copable, okay level of pretty deaf. But then I got to 15 and things changed, but I didn't notice because when you're going deaf, it's really slow. So I thought, I just can't focus. I can't pay attention to what my teachers are telling me in class. And I'd sit at the front, like a little goody to your shoes. But I still, I couldn't take it in. And even with all of my friends, when I grieve, everyone's blah 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 Everyone's talking and I have no clue what's going on. I'm pretending like, yeah, yeah, totally. Part of this conversation. No, I've got no clue. It's exceptionally isolating. And then I went to university and I realised no matter how hard you try, you cannot cope. If you're deaf but you haven't got hearing aids or you haven't got an interpreter or you haven't got a text to speech thing, you're in a completely new environment and that makes you realise things. I got my hearing aids, which are brilliant. I'm not actually wearing them right now because the hail was really annoying me. And at university I got help, I had an interpreter, Ruthann, who is the best and works with me now, actually, which I could probably do like a little video about how on earth do you present TV when you can't hear things? Like, hi, hi, uh, yeah, here's a question. Awesome. Don't ask me anything. Yeah, it's not actually like that. I'm actually a bit better at my job. There was also a time in my life when I went on a lot of first dates. First dates, people, always firsts. It is hard to do when you cannot hear what the other person is saying. So, I was dating people that I don't know. And that's always the awkward thing. When do you tell them that you can't actually hear? I, I generally did as they arrived. Smooth. I know. But then I met Claudia. And she doesn't care about my hearing. It's just never a problem for her. We cope. <laughs> I'm well. So, back to the matter at hand. Deaf or hard of hearing? So I know that there are three categories. Deaf, with a big D. Deaf, with a small D. And hard of hearing. Which am I? Well, deaf with a big D. Deaf culture, deaf society, that's quite different from me. I work in a hearing world. My friends are all hearing, my family are hearing. So, I googled, because that's the answer to all life's problems, obviously. And deaf with a small d is more like profoundly deaf. That's really far on that scale. Hard of hearing can be from quite mild hearing loss all the way to quite like severe hearing loss. 
But the problem is that hearing people, if you say hard of hearing to them, what they hear is like old person deaf. Just yell a little bit and they'll know what's going on. That is not the case. No. So deaf for them is like a coverall. That's anyone with hearing loss. But in the deaf world, if you live in a hearing world, then you're hard of hearing. So which? Neither one of them really feels right for me because deaf, I don't want to step on anyone's toes, but hard of hearing implies a much smaller problem in the hearing world at least. So I think that I should say deafened because that's me, right? Hearing in the past, now not so much. That is the long-winded answer to that question. <laughs>